Open world games have really taken off this generation, with so many games released since the PlayStation 4's release, some have been great, others not so much. In this video, we'll be taking a look at 10 amazing PS4 open world games so far. Let's get right into this. Gravity Rush 2 Gravity Rush was one of the best games on the Vita. Being on the Vita limited its potential, but it was still a very good game. Gravity Rush 2 was built ground up for the PlayStation 4 and it really shows you've got better visuals, a bigger world with so much more content, the gameplay is better with more versatility, and Gravity Rush 2, much like the first game, went really under the radar. So if you haven't checked it out, I'd highly recommend to do so. Horizon Zero Dawn Horizon Zero Dawn was one of the highly anticipated PS4 exclusives this generation. It was developed by Ace Sony Studio Guerrilla Games, but unlike their previous sci-fi first-person shooter series Killzone, Horizon is a post-apocalyptic action RPG set in a world filled with mech-like creatures. It's not absolutely perfect, but Horizon does a lot of good from the technical achievements to the unique gameplay and setting. If you have a PS4, Horizon should be one of the games in your library. a stealth player, there's a lot of options for that. If you're more an action player, the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt The Witcher 3 is absolutely one of the best single player experiences that you're gonna find. It nails it in almost every area, visually it looks great, even on the PS4 where it was a bit limited. Gameplay is solid and the world is enormous with so much quality content in it, keeping you busy for a very long time, and of course the story is great too. The expansions also add a lot of content and now with the complete edition out, it's a must buy. Not monster trouble. We're not having trouble. We're up shit fucking creek. The Elder Blood can initiate the final age, the time of the end. Remember this from later. A wish. Hacked. Signed in blood. And a price to be paid. To the land of snuff and wine. Your grace! Final Fantasy XV Final Fantasy XV was one of the long-awaited games this generation. It was in development for a decade and finally released in 2016. Did it live up to the hype? Well, that's hard to say. There's a lot of good to FF15. The gameplay and world design are top-notch, it's filled with content, and Square Enix consistently supports the game. Where Final Fantasy XV really falters is from a storytelling perspective. It's completely disjointed and a mess. If you can get over that, you'll find a great open-world adventure. Dodging your foe's attacks will also be key to victory. Using Noctis' unique warp ability, you can quickly get into the action with a long-range attack or deftly dodge incoming attacks. You can also warp out to safety to assess the battlefield or to regain precious health. For those who would prefer to slow things down while in the heat of battle, there's wait mode. While in wait mode, the player can freely target enemies, aim magic spells, select teammate abilities, and more. Grand Theft Auto V Grand Theft Auto V was one of the best games on last generation platforms, and it was only made better on the PlayStation 4. Better visuals, better performance, everything you would expect from a generational upgrade. The game itself is obviously fantastic, there's a lot of variety in the content, and it's still a worthwhile game to pick up and play today.
Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. Metal Gear Solid 5 was probably the most controversial game of this generation. The drama between Kojima and Konami has been very publicized, so let's forget about that for now. The game itself is fantastic. Sure, it doesn't have the long cutscenes that were in MGS4, but the story in here is good. It's just presented in a different way. And the gameplay is the strongest in series history. The move to the open world format only complements the entirety of the game. Even if you've never played, MGS Phantom Pain is a game you should check out. <gasps> Analysis complete. Analysis complete. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim is one of the most iconic games ever. Who could forget the anticipation leading up to its 11-11-11 release? It came to PlayStation 4 as you would expect, better visuals, better performance, and all of the downloadable content which adds a sizable amount to do. The Elder Scrolls V is made only better on the PlayStation 4 and if you've never played it somehow, it's a no-brainer. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag Assassin's Creed has been one franchise that's fallen a bit off with a lot of people, but there is no doubting how great of a game Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag is. Visually, it looks great. Gameplay-wise, it's some of the best in the franchise, and the naval battles are awesome. The world is great, too, with so many different and varied locations to explore. Assassin's Creed 4 was a launch title for the PS4, so at this point, many have forgotten about it, but if you haven't played it, you must. It's great. You defy them by living free. I shall not live to see the world you were shaping, but I know it will be a better one. To court us all, man the cannons! Let's hear the roar of this beast! Dragon Age Inquisition Dragon Age Inquisition was another game that was early on in the PS4's life, and it was probably the first really great RPG. At this point, some other games have to outrank it, but it's still a great game to go through. The environment and detail to the game is top-notch, storytelling is great, as you should expect from Bioware, and Dragon Age Inquisition is another game that has a complete edition, so that adds all of the DLC content, and that'll keep you really busy for a long time. And finally, Infamous Second Son. Infamous Second Son was one of the first great exclusives on the PlayStation for. In all honesty, it was probably the weakest of the three main Infamous games, but that's not saying much considering all of them are great. Infamous Second Son is a great game, the open world is lush and vibrant, and the gameplay is fantastic. Some of the content is a bit repetitive, and the main story is rather short, but still the good far outweighs the bad. Now look, for all we know, we may be able to pass you through their security, you know, because you're not a normal bioterrorist. You seem to be getting the hang of your, uh, New symptoms, right? <laughs> of course, the only downside being that, uh... Nope, can't think of anything. This is pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> So that wraps up 10 amazing PS4 open world games so far. What do you think? What have been your favorite PS4 open world games? Comment your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.